Well, good morning. Um, I've got a little job to do on my Honda CB650R this morning. Uh, it's a 2019 model. It's my commuting bike. I'm going to do a review on it um, shortly or sometime in the near future. It's absolutely a fantastic commuting bike, but I'll say more about that at a later point. I'm the second owner of the bike um, and one thing that's always irked me is a, um, a nasty little scratch here on the right hand um, crankcase cover and on this little actual crank bolt here. I mean it's totally cosmetic and it doesn't harm the bike's performance in any way but the bike was dropped and it just irks me a little bit because I really nurse this bike and uh, I'd like to have it looking wonderful. Now, one of the great things about Honda bikes is a replacement part like this, a total replacement, brand new right-hand crankcase cover and actual crankcase cover, bolt. Uh, only about $90 Australian. If I was gonna buy the same sort of similar item for my BMW, I'd be up three or four times that, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, the job for today is actually to replace this cover here, which involves releasing the clutch cable here. This cable here is actually connected down into what they call the crank position sensor. That's easily detached up there, and there's eight to 10 bolts uh, around the side that need to be taken out. There's a dipstick. Um, and of course, I'm going to drain the bolt out, uh, the oil out first, so that uh, when I actually release the crankcase cover, I don't lose a lot of oil. Okay, but that's the job for today, and I, I'm going to, as I said, have the cameras rolling. Hopefully, uh, might be of use to some. There's very little on the web on things like this, so let's see how we go. Okay, so the first thing is uh, to drop the oil out. Just heat the engine up a little bit. Give it a little run for a little while on the engine for a little oil a little bit and then we'll drop it out. Okay. Let's see if we can drop this oil out. Okay, let's see how we go. Get in under here, see if we can do this one up. Fuck you. Okay. Okay, well these little securing bolts or screws here are five millimeter hex heads. So I'll start by releasing some of these. Initially, I'll get onto the, the one that secures the clutch cable. I'll take him right off for a start. release the clutch cable and I might see if I can get that out of the way a little bit. Some wire around here and might be able to secure him somewhere up here. Okay next thing is to release this cable in here. There's a little thing you press and then pull. That's off as well. Okay we'll do the rest of the nuts. See the clouds and let them be Keep every story of your days a mystery Hear the songs in the breeze Sing out your wins and trials like a melody Ride the storms with your head held high We only breathe till the day 
So it looks like the under cowl pulls away there nicely. Okay, now there's a couple of little spots here that you can use to lever, lever this off. I'm going to try this little one here for a start. Uh, him off there quite nicely. There's another one down here I might try. I can get somewhere that's not going to damage anything. It's popped him off there and I might try this last little one down here if I can. Now if I'm clever here I should be able to wangle this guy off. Okay, a few little bits and pieces still. Oh shit. Okay, maybe should have taken the dipstick off first. Wow, this little gear here has popped out, which is not something I expected. That looks like that goes there. Wow. Okay. Okay, so clearly there's a little bit of this gasket material that we need to remove from around this edge before we put it all back together. Maybe that's off there. Okay, well, all these little uh, screws, bolts, whatever you want to call them here, are all um, 10 mil. So we'll take these ones out one by one. Tight little nuts indeed, bolts. As I said, I certainly don't want anything coming off inside the crankcase, so I understand that. I wasn't able to find any details on the torque settings for those. Okay, and that little grommet here just simply pops out the whole item there. It simply be moved over into its new little home. Like that. So there's something like that for now. So Honda recommends that we put some uh, some thread locker on these little bolts or screws and I could understand why because <laughs> inside your crankcase is not somewhere you want bolts coming off things flying around
Certainly these housings are exceptionally strong. They don't have very tight torque settings, so maybe they're relying significantly here on the thread locker to hold this stuff into place. Okay, all done. Okay, now let's look at this clutch lever. Simply be lifted out. Use the, the spring. Once again, if we change over, set the clutch lever through there, which goes through nicely. Just need to have done that spring in the right place, which. Okay, so the gas material we're going to run around on the inside of all the bolt holes. So. comes to the gasket material, Honda recommends uh, 10 to 15 millimeter thread, basically where the, uh, the crank case joins. It's here, and there's another join that's just there. So Honda recommends 10 to 15 millimeters here. I should just put a little bead on there. go with this guy. And now the secret will be to get a couple of screws on. Each of these is uh, to be done up to 12 Newton meters. Okay, and I think it's just a bit of a crisscross cross pattern here to ensure that we and test of course will be no leaks. Okay. 
Yeah, 12. See the clouds and let them be Keep every story of your days a mystery Hear the songs in the breeze Sing out your wins and trials like a melody Ride the storms with your head held high We only breathe till the day we die Bring on the fire, bring on the rain Nothing can take Flame inside your heart. See every finish line before you reach the star. Let's bring the clutch. Come on the back. Get this bracket in place. There's a little locator here that has to sit on top of that. Just get that started. And the Honda recommended tightening torque for this bolt is 18 newton meters. So there we are, 18 newton meters. And there we are. Just need a little bit of a clean up now. Gasket materials got around the place. And we'll give that a little bit of time to set. Okay, so the job's finished. Um, all looks pretty good. I've, uh, I've cleaned up any um, excess grommet. Uh, wiped it away a bit so pretty happy with how it's all looking obviously the key now will be letting this um, gasket material set it says 90 minutes on the tube but I think I'll give it a, a few hours maybe even overnight and then I'll refill with oil and uh, we'll give we'll give the bike a run and uh, and see whether we have any leaks but that's about it. It's certainly nice to get rid of that nasty scratch there and have the bike looking uh, like new again. <laughs>